Hello everybody, I'm Hyrule Gamer and welcome to another The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild video. As you can see it's the title down below, today I'm going to be talking about Has Death Mountain been overrun in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? And this is sort of like a theory slash discussion video, it's a bit of both and it's just going to be why I think Death Mountain could be overrun in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Before I get into the video, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like down below, and comment any sort of future videos you'd like to see. It's very much appreciated. And also, we hit 100 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. It's so much very appreciated. And there'll be more regarding hitting 100 subscribers at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And also, if I sound a little sick in this video, I am. I've got the cold right now. With, that, with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. So, the reason I think Death Mountain could be overrun, or overrun, sorry, in The Legends of the Breath of the Wild is the Guardians. As we know already, there is a lot of Guardians throughout the whole world. From all the footage we've seen, from the trailers we've seen, there's going to be a lot of Guardians getting in your way. And as we know, Guardians that you can just find out and about in the wild, pun not intended, um, they can one-hit you with their beams, or laser beams, whatever you want to call them. So they, we already know they are an incredible danger to Link in the game. And the reason I think that Death Mountain could be overrun is, as you can see in the screenshot there, there is a guardian on Death Mountain, or what we have to assume is Death Mountain. Let's all come to an agreement, it's Death Mountain, we can tell. The Great Deku Tree's in the game, we've got, there's got to be Death Mountain. This game is actually starting to look a lot like Ocarina of Time, but a bit on a bigger scale. But, yeah, so, there's a lot of guardians in the game so far. And as we sort of already know, the Guardians were possibly guarding Hyrule originally and were turned by the Calamity Ganon to turn against Hyrule and instead of defending them, attack them. Now I'm gonna put another screenshot up on the screen now and that's more close up review a close up view of what seems to be in the first screenshot, but a, a lot closer. It's a massive guardian, or what seems massive, it might actually be a normal size, on top of a flaming death mountain. Now whether this could be a potential boss fight or whether this could be something guarding your way in, we don't know yet. But I think this is a big piece of evidence to show Death Mountain could be overrun with guardians or just overrun in general, and you have to help sort of over to take it back and potentially for the Gorons as well because we already know there's Gorons in the game. Another piece of evidence to support why Death Mountain could be overrun in the Legends of the Breath of the Wild is that as I was saying the Calamity Ganon has pretty much turned the Guardians evil into fight against Hyrule. This could have happened with the Goron as well and maybe not just the Goron, maybe all the races, the Gerudo, the Zora, any other races we're going to see in it if the Rito are in it, which I believe they are. Uh, I've seen a few videos that are confirming they are but I can't really get my head around if it's true or not but anyway that's we're going off topic here so let's get back on topic and as I was saying the Calamity Ganon could have turned the Gorons evil, possibly, and we have seen this before in some sort of form. It was more the Twilight from the Twilight Princess, or the Legends of the Twilight Princess, sorry, when we came up to the boss Phyrus in the Fire Temple in the Legends of Zelda Twilight Princess. Sorry, the Goron Mines, I didn't mean to say Fire Temple. But yeah, Phyrus was turned evil by the Twilight, or the Twilight was in him, as is all the bosses in the Legends of the Twilight Princess. So we could be looking at a sort of similar thing again in Breath of the Wild, but this time instead of the Twilight um, controlling all the enemies, it could be the Calamity, or Calamity Ganon even, sorry. So that's another strong piece of evidence to argue why Death Mountain could be overrun in the Legends of the Breath of the Wild. Also, it would make a really, really awesome dungeon, which in my last video I touched on just a little bit. I'm just kidding, it was one of the dungeons I thought of in my last video. So, now that we're at the, at the end of the video, I want to thank you guys so much for helping me reach 100 subscribers. It is very much appreciated, and as I said at the start of the video, I'm going to be talking about what I'm going to be doing for 100 subscribers regarding some sort of special video. Now, I will be having sort of like voting or polls on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. All my links are in the description below. I'll be putting out posts where you can vote for what one you want to see or even suggest your own. My main two ideas right now are a Q&A or a room slash setup tour sort of video. You can comment that down below on the video regarding which one you'd like to see or on my Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. You can basically like, tweet me on Twitter, message me on Facebook, comment on any Instagram post, message me on Instagram, message me on YouTube, anything you want. Just get it to me either through YouTube, 
Twitter, Instagram or Facebook and you can basically say any type of special you video you want. Not It doesn't have to be a Q&A or setup slash room tour, it can be anything, but those are the two main ideas I was thinking. So one more time guys, thank you so much for 100 subscribers, it is very, very much appreciated, thank you.